Afghanistan is an ethnically diverse and war-torn country. This and its lack of infrastructure means that remote communities have long been isolated from the modern world. In the far northeast of the country is a project that's bringing reliable, renewable electricity and the wealth of opportunities that come with it. Rush hour in Badakhshan, one of the least developed corners of one of the least developed countries in the world. Only 3% of households here have any electricity at all. In 2007, the German Agency for International Cooperation and engineering firm Integration teamed up with the Afghan government to improve energy supply in rural areas. One part of their program was installing hydropower plants for isolated villages to show the potential of renewable energy for the whole country. Six plants with a total capacity of nearly 1.3 megawatts have been installed so far. We're here in a side valley of the Kokcha River where there's a road and a bazaar. We believe that in this environment, you can do a lot for rural development by providing electricity. Badakhshan is a tough place for any development project. Though far from Afghanistan's main conflict zones, corruption is endemic and society is divided along rigid ethnic lines. Before work on a hydro plant could even begin, roads had to be improved and built from scratch in some places so that turbines and other equipment could be brought in as much as possible was built on site. The program trained local workers and employed them to build canals and poles for power cables. Some communities refused to work together, so they were given different roles, working apart, though towards a common goal. Other skills were needed too, electricians to connect shops and houses to the new grid, and engineers to keep the turbines running smoothly. All decisions involving local people are channeled through traditional village councils, or shura, with care taken at every stage to share the benefits fairly among the different ethnic groups. Together with the Afghans, we decide where a power plant can be built, like here in Fargambol. Villages around the power plant are then connected one by one. This is done under the supervision of Afghan engineers. Each plant is run by a leaseholder, who's responsible for the operation and maintenance of the power plant and the distribution of electricity. Households and businesses pay the leaseholders for their electricity with the amount they've used recorded on meters. Users must also sign up to a strict code of conduct, pledging not to use heaters or power-hungry tools at times of peak demand. Farmers must agree not to grow opium as a condition of getting power from the hydro plant. As a result, Poppy cultivation has stopped completely in some villages. Together with the new roads, electricity has invigorated entire communities. Some people have even returned from the towns to take advantage of electricity to start businesses. Since 2008, electricity has come to 110 public buildings, 640 businesses, and benefited 63,000 people. Since we've had electricity up here, my business is going well. The farmers bring their corn and get the flour back, and I earn some money. I'd like to do some more work and maybe set up an oil press. Many businesses have sprung up in the bazaar. We now have carpenters making doors and windows. Unlike some other foreign development projects, the program works with the grain of Afghan society. Women and girls have seen significant benefits too. With TV and radio making women feel less isolated and providing knowledge of the wider world, as well as specific information, such as helplines for victims of domestic violence. Whatever the future might bring for Afghanistan, this is a program with its foundations planted firmly enough in local society to have the potential for lasting impact. The German government and others will continue this approach and it's hoped more power plants will be developed. How that will be done 
is currently being decided, but there is long-term planning of power plants for rural development. I can't say how much will be realized, but I hope it's a lot. Electricity will lead to a social transformation. I am absolutely sure electricity will make people's life easier and much more pleasant.